A drop of glass, smaller than your thumb, shaped like a tadpole, clear as crystal. You can strike its head with a hammer and nothing happens, but snap its tail and it explodes into a thousand shards in the blink of an eye. No fuse, no heat, no warning. It defies logic, it defies time. This is the forgotten mystery of the Prince Rupert's Drop, a simple creation of fire and sand. So strange it baffled scientists for four centuries, an object once thought magical, weaponized, then forgotten. Today we dive into one of the strangest materials ever created. A glass object that can stop a bullet, but shatters at a whisper. It begins in fire. A craftsman dips a rod into molten glass, 1,400 degrees Celsius. The glowing blob is allowed to fall into a bucket of cold water. As it hits, the outer layer cools instantly, but the inside is still molten, pulling tight like a coiled spring. Tension and compression clash beneath the surface. The result? A strange teardrop-shaped object with a long curling tail. Smooth, cool, innocent, but touch it wrong, especially at the tail, and it detonates instantly. These curious objects first appeared in Europe in the 17th century. They were called larmes de verre, glass tears, but they caught the attention of one man, a German prince, scientist, and mischief maker, Prince Rupert of the Rhine. Prince Rupert was a soldier, artist, and scientist. In the court of King Charles II of England, he was known for strange experiments. He introduced oddities to entertain the nobility, sparks, mirrors, magnets. And one day he brought a glass teardrop. He laid it on a table. He dared anyone to break it. They tried crushing the head, nothing. Then someone snapped the tail. The drop exploded harmlessly into glittering dust. The court gasped. Some cried witchcraft. The king was fascinated. Soon Rupert's drops were tested across Europe. They withstood hammer blows, gunshots, even being clamped in vices. Yet always when the tail was broken, they shattered violently. But why? No one knew. The science didn't exist yet. Some thought it was alchemy. Some believed it was a new kind of weapon. Others just locked them away. And so the drops became curiosities, party tricks for royalty, and eventually forgotten. Centuries passed, the drops were barely mentioned. But in the late 1800s, a new question emerged. Could this strange glass hold unseen forces? Modern microscopes revealed something astonishing. Inside each drop was a war zone. The outer shell was compressed, locked down. But the core was under tension, desperate to explode. It was like a balloon squeezed by armor. As long as the shell remained intact, the drop was stronger than steel. Even bullets couldn't crack it. But the tail, the tail acted like a trigger. Break it and all the stored energy rushed out. A chain reaction faster than the speed of sound. A glass bomb without flame or fuse. This was not magic. This was physics, centuries ahead of its time. 
Even today, few materials exhibit such radical internal stress. The world moved on. Prince Rupert's drops were remembered only in passing, a footnote in dusty science books. But the truth is, this tiny invention was more than a curiosity. It demonstrated stress engineering, a principle used in modern armor, skyscrapers, and jet engines. It showed the hidden power of tempered materials, where force is stored, not destroyed. And yet, for 400 years, no one asked, what else could we do with this? Could we design glass that resists impact like a drop's head, but never shatters? Could we harness its tension for energy? We never found out, because we forgot. Today, scientists have turned their attention back to the drops. Using ultra-high-speed cameras, we can now capture the moment of shattering. Frame by frame, we see shock waves ripple through the structure. We study it not just for curiosity, but to design better materials, safer glass, impact-resistant surfaces, even data protection tech all from a forgotten toy of a German prince. The drop never changed, but our eyes finally learned to see it. In a world where strength is often loud, the Prince Rupert's drop is a quiet paradox, fragile and invincible, Simple and scientific, beautiful and deadly, a drop of glass, that could stop time. This was the forgotten story of the Prince Rupert's Drop. Subscribe to Untold History for more inventions lost in time, mysteries buried in dust, and forgotten futures that almost were. Because sometimes, the smallest thing leaves the loudest echo.